Well, one of the things that you already mentioned, gestured at before, is that part of the reason why we need nuclear uh, fission and fusion is because of the fact that the, the, all these awesome renewables, solar, wind, uh, hydro, et cetera, um, well, hydro do a little bit more 24, but yes, but they have, they have limitations on when they generate and when they don't. And so, and then battery storage is a challenge. And so you and I have invested in some fusion things together. Uh, say a little bit about what's the hope uh, and the and the possibilities for fusion. Fusion is where you take the big atoms like uranium and as they split, you get energy. And fusion is where you take the small atoms, primarily hydrogen, as, as you put them together, you release energy. Middle of the periodic table is uh, the most stable and so you're getting relativistic energy uh, uh, through the that mass decrease. Fusion is very difficult. Uh, it involves, you know, temperatures that are like the center of the sun, you know, millions of degrees. And so that's plasma physics, which we know a lot more about. You know, we're using AI tools to study those things. And now there's a variety of techniques. Tokamak, uh, which uh, Commonwealth Fusion System is using, being the one with the most credible schedule for, say, 10 years from now. Most of the others are probably more like 15 years away. At some point, fusion energy will be extremely cheap. And it's not, it doesn't have the same waste problems that fission does. You know, I think those are, are solvable problems, and I'm investing in that because that's more like a six-year time frame if everything went perfectly. 